Welcome friends, it is Saturday morning, so we're going to do another one of our most watched on YouTube recipe video videos, and today I have leftover cottage cheese from a recipe video that we did earlier, and I'm thinking I'd like to make cottage cheese pancakes. So, if we filter that by view count, we end up with cottage cheese Pancakes by Sweet the Me or Sweet the My. One million views. Let's take a look. Ooh, they look really cool in the pan. Um, now, this recipe starts right from scratch making the cottage cheese. We've already done that step in another video, so let's move forward a little bit. Okay, we're in for a good one. Let's get this going. Okay, so even though the YouTube channel that I got this recipe from is Korean, I do believe that ethnically this pancake recipe is Eastern European, um, probably closely related to Russian cooking. Um, so I've got the cottage cheese in here. Some people call it farmer's cheese, cottage cheese, whatever you want to call it. Two eggs and sugar. And we're just going to mix this together. So I'm following the recipe on the YouTube video exactly as it's written. Um, but when I look this up, the Russian version, which is called... Um, all of them pretty much had baking soda or baking powder in the mix. This one has neither. So I'm kind of interested to see what happens um, and whether that makes any difference. Sometimes there are additions to recipes that really make no difference. We just put them in because we're told we're supposed to and it's traditional and somebody else put it in um, and they serve no purpose. So I'm very interested to see whether this actually serves a purpose. Now my dough is nowhere near as thick as the dough in the video. So let's move on and we'll see what happens. Next instruction is to generously flour your board. and then we turn the dough mixture out into the flour. And we flour the top. And I think I'm gonna use a dough scraper. There we go. Now, I've already got a pan coming up to heat because um, this is really sticky. And the idea is apparently we're supposed to cut this into even pieces. and keep it well floured. So these are not beautiful at all. I haven't managed to get them all the same size, not even close. And one of the things I think you should take away from this uh, series, if you take away anything at all, is that the first time you attempt something, if you've never done it before and the first time you attempt it and it doesn't work out, it's okay. Because I'm sure they're still gonna taste great. So let's check the pan. See if it's hot. Okay, so hit that with a little bit of oil. And a tab of butter. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's, um, let's just try a couple first and see what happens. Because I'm not totally sure what temperature to cook these at. Okay, I can see I've got some work to do. Um, they're not very even, which is my problem. Um, and I don't think butter is right in the pan. Uh, you're not able to get enough heat to get a really nice brown crisp on the outside. I'm just gonna try one. See if I'm on the right track and then we'll re-attack it. It's cooked. Great flavor. I'm gonna redo this, but only oil in the pan. 
Okay, new pan, new plan. Um, I know this is sacrilege, absolute sacrilege. But there are times where cast iron isn't the pan for the job. Um, and that particular cast iron pan for this particular job wasn't going to work. I wasn't going to get even heat as much as I needed all around the pan. So this pan, even though it's nonstick, okay, it's going to give me better temperature control. And that's the key, I think, to cooking these. So let's get them in the pan. I can hear you. I, I can hear you. I can hear you screaming. What is that idiot doing? Um, I'm trying out a new recipe. And it's sort of working, maybe. Let's get these out of the pan and see how they taste. Okay, so from a technical standpoint, this is a recipe that I'm going to have to revisit. Um, and I don't know if it was me or the recipe that caused some of my problems today, which is why you have to try things multiple times. From a flavor standpoint, these taste fantastic to me. Now, I've never had one like this before, so maybe this doesn't taste right. I don't know. Um, Online, a lot of things said to put honey on it or sour cream. I went with honey because we've got lots of honey. These taste really good to me. But come on back. We'll probably do this two or three more times in the test kitchen, and then we'll do another video where we'll try to work out some of the problems that I had today. So don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to try. This recipe is worth exploring more. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.